going on everybody good monday morning to you guys i'm not gonna take too long on this video because honestly i i, I don't even want to make it but i'm gonna make it anyway some of us likes trolls we 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 we, we like them in the comment section because it keeps you entertaining right but then you have particular channels that are just full of fucking trolls all right and a lot of them are young, broke, faggots. Some just faggots. I'm just a bunch of fairies. Like to like like to run a ball suckers. Run run a dick lickers. They tank they they tank sniffers. That's that's what they do. There's a channel called Can I Be Frank. Real good channel. I I I, I tune in to watch, you know, the stuff that he puts on his channel. Okay. And I plan on going down that way to their location. I'm not going to reveal where it's at. You know, I know exactly where it's at to uh, run my vehicle whenever it's done. Okay. Fully done. Because some big, some big heavy hitters down there. And I, I want to make sure I can do what I need to do. There's this rhetoric that when one car beats a car and this car is NA and your car is boosted or whatever. It's Ford suck. Chevy sucks. And it's always by the keyboard warriors. Now, you guys be on my channel long enough. You know, I got a Dodge out there. It's really my wife's vehicle, but Dodge Ring RT. The only thing that's even done to that thing right now remotely is, is, is a basic gas tune. That's it. She won't let me do what I really want to do with it. My car, of course, is supercharged with ESSG2 kit. Alejandro Flores, the guy that tuned my vehicle when I when I first installed the kit told me last week man if I want to see close to 800 horses because the G2 is good for up to 800 but that's you have to really downgrade the pulleys very aggressively just get the G3 head and right now I'm only making mid 600s I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere between 640 and 650 maybe 635 conservatively but I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere close to 650 660 would be awesome but I don't think it's up there because I have high flow cats I have long twos BBK long two headers High flow cast with X pipe. The, the uh, action back is still stock. Six B with RX team at cloud clutch. That I'm getting ready to get out of the car because first gear to second gear, I can't grab it hard. The flower is torquing over. It's not, the clutch is so aggressive that it's not letting go when you clutch in. I have to wait by a whole second to, to grab second. Now down there where they where they at at Frank's location, they do a lot of roll racing. So. I can still take it down there and get away with that, but I would rather make sure that I can go through gears without having that clutch being so aggressive. So I'm going to be downgrading the clutch that's ready for up to 800 horsepower. So, but the engine stock, I'm just running FIC 1000s and I'm running um, NGKs that are currently gap at 0 0.028. No crazy shit. Don't have no can work did. No, the engine ain't even open up for shit. Nothing. None of that. So, stock oil pump gears, all that in that car. Now, I know what the car is capable of. I have a number in mind. I'm going to be putting an E85 uh, for innovation fuel system upgrade on the car here eventually. And then I'm going to probably stay around the 120. If I want to run the 115 on the, e, on, on the G3, uh, then I'm, I'm going to need some Octane booster for that. But you can get that readily and just mix it every three or four fill-ups, you know, because once you put Octane Booster in gas, it, do, it doesn't just go all out. You have to go through a few tank cycles for it to go all out. So by every two or three fill-ups, you just add some Octane Booster to the car. So you can run the 115 millimeter pulley or keep it on EA5 and live comfortably in 800s and have fun, right? So bottom line is, though, I see all these guys, they comment about, well, this car was gutted. Four guts cars all the time. And I think that they're jealous that a Gen 3 especially, you can gut the vehicle, okay? And it'll run low 11s, damn near high 10s with basic bolt-ons at the fucking track, all right? And, 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 I, and I think that pisses off a lot of the guys that are Chevy fans. Now, I'm not saying that the Camaro guys don't gut their shit. All serious racers shed weight from their vehicle. It just been forward do it. It's it's cringe for some odd reason. Now I'm a fuel interior guy. I'm not gonna get my shit because I'm not out there to race and run slicks and all that shit. All right, 
But when it comes down to it, if you're getting your jollies off on a Corvette that's making 630, 640 to the tires, that smokes a Gen 1 Mustang that's gutted, all right, and weighs 500 pounds less, okay, something is seriously wrong with you. Now, if that Mustang was up, say, by another, I don't know, 80 horsepower, right? Because Gen 1, fully full bolt ons and gutted, it's probably putting maybe, maybe 430 down to the tires, 440 at best. If you give it another 80 horsepower, it's going to run with that motherfucking Corvette because it's 500 pounds lighter. It needs a shit ton. There are trolls in the chat. They be on the comment sections, don't know what the fuck they're talking about. There was a race where this N.A. Camaro smoked a fucking GT500, okay? Yes, the GT500 should have won that race, but there's this thing called Knox Sisters, Heat Soak, the tune itself, if it, if it had a tune on the vehicle, which it probably did, I think it would run a little bit of a smaller pulley. But okay, but if that Camaro was gutted, full bolt ons and everything else, and this GT500 had a heat soak problem, not since it's wigging the fuck out, guess what's going to happen? That Camaro, if it's built right, is going to smoke it. That's true of any car. Any car. You can go on a dyno and make three different pulls on three different dynos and get three different numbers. And they all can be SAE rated, STD rated. They're going to be different numbers based on that dyno. Same thing happens when you run in the real world. This guy too may be more aggressive than your two, even though you're putting out more power. If the transmission's tuned right, if all that's done right, you're going to get him. If his knock sensor's too sensitive and your knock sensor desensitized, guess what? Your knock sensor's not going to pull timing as easily as, he, as his will. So guess what's going to happen? You're going to walk him up top. You're going to get him. Because when knock sensors pull timing, guess what it does? It cut torque and engine power down so you won't have a pre-detonation at high RPM and blow your shit up because to make sure the fuel is, is, is not right or you got too much vibration going on so it's wigging out the goddamn knock sensors because they're highly sensitive. There are so many variables when it comes to racing. The tire size, how much weight you got in the car. Is you run on a full tank? Is the tank almost empty? Because a full tank makes a difference too. Do you have a passenger in the car? Do you know how to shift your shit? Is your clutch shifting, uh, slipping? Is your transmission slipping? Is it changing gears in the power band? What rear gear are you running? There are so many variables. So when one Camaro donkey stump a Mustang, think about all that for all. Yeah, Mustang got walk. Now, if the Mustang is fully built, I mean, see, and this is the shit. When you got a lot of money in your vehicle and it's fully built right, tuned right, it's consistent. You know where it runs. And you go against another guy that shit's very consistent. And it runs a certain number all the time. And then you race like that and you lose. You can brag all you want. But the average street racer doesn't have 50, 60, up to 100. In some cases, $200,000 into their fucking vehicles. I done dumped about close to 20 grand in mines. All right. And it's still called less than a GT500. And it would donkey stomp. A GT500. The new ones, not, not the 2014, 2013 ones, the Super Snakes that were actually Snooper Snakes that you can get that's making 800, 900, 1,000 to the wheel. I'm talking about the GT500s of now. If I catch that GT500 on a bag day, yes, it has the DCT, what, eight speed transmission and it ships very fucking fast. I get it, automatic on the ship. But it's a heavy ass car. It's making 760 at the crank. Drive train loss about maybe. 700 to 720 to the tires. F that. I'm making, I know somewhere close to 650 to the tire. So, in my vehicle, weight like 36, 3700. So, there's a 500, almost 600 pound difference there. So, yes, I make enough horsepower to run with it and beat it if we do a road race. A straight dig, that GT fire and go smoke my ass from the go. And I know that. Unless I'm very aggressively pulled. Then it'll be a different story if I can hook and book on the tires that I'm running. You keyboard warriors don't know shit about racing. Then there's, there's compression issues. When you have a 
Camaro that's a push rod making what I think 14 to one compression, something like that. That is a lot of power on pump gas because he's got a very high compression, so he's making some serious power, but he cannot boost it that much with that high aggressive because the PSI in the cylinders with that type of uh, uh, compression is going to cause an issue on pump gas. He probably can only run three to four pounds minimum, but he'll make some serious power at three to four pounds of boost. But he better make sure his octane isn't isn't fucking leaning out up top. He better make sure it's good enough octane to be able to have a, a good detonation. So when you see a Camaro with a 14 to one or 14 to two, whatever the fucking compression was rate, going against a 12-1 compression engine, of course that Camaro was going to donkey stomp the fuck out of. It's going to rape it. No, that's common sense. But put that same Camaro against a boosted engine that is making similar PSI in the cylinders because that compression is making some serious PSI in the cylinder, believe it or not, and then run it and see what happens. You know what's going to fucking happen. Camaro going to get donkey stomped. All you guys that talk about NA, listen, there's nothing wrong with NA cars. It's not that hard in the engine. And if you build them right, the NA cars can kill some serious contenders, but you have to build it right. But for those of us that can afford some boost, and then you build that car right with boost, there's not enough money in the world that you can do to an NA engine. That's going to be a built, boosted engine. That is just facts. And a lot of you NA guys know that. That's why you say that because your pockets ain't deep enough to do it. Now, the serious racers that have deep pockets, but they prefer the NA route, they're going to do all that they can to keep it NA. They don't really care about boost. But for those of us that can either do either or, boost is the way to go because it's easier to build around if you know what the fuck you're doing. And I think a lot of you guys in that comment section is a bunch of broke bombs talking shit. You can take any car, any car, if you know what the fuck you're doing, and donkey stomp some supercars, some high-end cars. Them Honda Civics do it all the time. i seen smart cars rape Lamborghinis because it's a lighter fucking car. Volkswagen Beetles. You can build any car. The SRT Neon. The SRT4. The race, the Hellcat just smoked it. It's a lighter car. It was a good race, but it got him in the first race. The second race, it was close. Had it went a little bit longer, the SRT might have would have edged him, but that 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 Hellcat has a, a, a longer top end. But just just to take a SRT, a car that's like damn near 30 years old, it's over 20, and that can run with something like that, take a, G, a, a 370Z, take a, take a Datsun 240Z, and build it just right. And watch what happens. There are so many variables to racing. That you trolls make it unbearable. To even go in the comment section. Especially. Especially fucking fake fairy Rob. And. 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 and, and uh, River Monkey Esco. All them shit talkers. That hide behind profile pics. And then drop slurs. And want to call people bitches and shit. But won't turn their cameras on. There's a guy in Chicago talking about, oh, I will find those all the time. Now, well, I called him out yesterday in the comment session. Well, I ain't going to wish nothing boosted, dingo. But I bet you if I bring that Durango up there on that gas tool, you'll run that, don't you? You'll run that Durango. You say you whip 85 -0. So when I say, well, I got a boosted one, I bet you I'm with mine's brutal interior. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk your shit. You, you, you bark, bark, bark. That's what y'all do. Bark, 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 bark. Y'all couldn't afford the tire of my motherfucking car. Most of y'all live in y'all mama basement. In daddy basement, playing GTA 5, like I said, or Midnight Club, or Grand Turismo, and fantasize about cars. Thank you, know the fuck you're talking about. Don't know shit. Y'all don't take in the spark. Ultimately, the tune decides the outcome of a vehicle. If it's built right, the tune dictates everything. For automatic, you gotta have a trans tune and all that for a stick shift. You just gotta make sure your clutch can 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 do its job and the transmission can hold the fuck up. And you get you you have the driver mod. That's why I'm a stick shift man. I am the driver mod. So ultimately the tune is gonna decide the final outcome along with the mods, but the tune ties in all of that. If they need to be tuned, and most cars do.
need to be tuned once you start adding a lot of shit to it so your shit can run properly. So if you have a tuner that's conservative versus a tuner that's very aggressive with pump gas, whatever, that aggressive tune, if it's dialed in right, it's going to donkey stump your conservative tune. That's common sense. I shouldn't have to say all that shit. That is common sense. So for all you trolls, and can I be, and listen, trolls, I'm glad that Frank allowed y'all to do this stupid shit that y'all do because it just shows how toxic the car world is. It's very fucking toxic. Very toxic. Because a lot of you guys like to just stir shit up, but they, it makes beef between the fractions. There are potential. All cars have potential. Every brand of car from Porsches on down to muscle has their particular top of the line vehicle. That what makes cars unique. I know my stain can beat some Lambos. I know my stain can beat some Porsches. I know if I build it right, it can beat not the top of the line, but it can it can come pretty fucking close. You know, unless I decide to go all in and get the G3R and it had to be on pump. I mean, E85 and all this shit. So no go one, 100, all this fucking shit. At that point in time, I'm going all in. Built engine and everything thing, so I can make that thousand horsepower and run with those fuckers. I can do it on stop block, but I want to risk blowing my ship. So I built it to know I can hold a thousand. Transmission built, Ben Calmer, go all in. At that point, I'd gladly jump another 20 grand a motherfucking car. If I really want to go all in, to a donkey stomp, uh, top of the line, poor, top of the line, you know, Lambo, whatever. But I'm not in it for that. I'm just a guy that just loves a little bit of speed on the street. That is it. And you trolls that don't drive, right, try to make it seem like when a Mustang loses or a Camaro loses, because it's some Mustang trolls in there too. I want to say it's it's. It's not the comment session used to be entertaining. Now it's just it's cringe as fuck. Then comment below if you like tip. It's some of the cringest shit in the fucking world. G gay shit, if you really want to know the truth. And then I go away for four or five days because you know real world shit. Come back, go catch my other videos. It's the same people in that comment section on every video saying the same stupid shit. And yes. It's helping Frank's channel with the algorithm, but it's really starting to turn off a lot of viewers that if he was getting a lot more comments of some sensible people, that it can really drive his channel the way he wants it to go. You know, but everybody has the right to free speech, but it's really, it, it goes to show you the common sense in the car world. It's not a lot of it. It really isn't. And so a guy like me that sit back and say, well, I watched the race. Mustang had to jump. But then all of a sudden you hear the car bog when he went to third gear. That's nonsense. If it's whoa, 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 he goes second, third, and then he goes to 40. Man, that's a knock sensor. That's not poor timing. It poor timing. It happens. You can listen to a car and know that. If it's spinning, you'll know too. It'll be, wah, 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 wah. and then he'll be trying to RPS be going up, speedometer be going up, and he ain't getting traction. But you can you can hear the car whining loud, tires spin like a motherfucker. That's a traction issue. Transmission stall, automatic, wah, 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 wah. that's a stall. That shit happens sometimes when you race. Doesn't mean the car is slow. There be mechanical issues sometimes. But you trolls don't think like that. Oh, yeah. Fucking Mustang got stomped out. Oh, yeah. Camaro got stomped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sit back and enjoy it. If it ain't your shit out there running, sit back and enjoy the race. And then when the people that were running come in and say something, oh, man, your car badass, bro. Oh, your, your whole tune changed. Oh, yeah, man, your car's badass, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, fuck, man. Yeah. I'm to all that energy you just had five seconds ago. Bunch of fake motherfuckers in the comment section. That's what it is. So, 
You guys go check out Calvary Frank's channel. I, I enjoy the content. I just can't. The comment section got too bad. For me to make a video, it, it, got, it got bad. I finally started opening my motherfucking mouth more. I used to just be quiet and talk to the intelligent ones. But then you have the same people that go in the intelligent forums and start talking shit with the intelligent people that actually have cars on their channels. And then they try to talk shit to you like this Halo Silver guy. He, he he talks a lot of shit about Mustangs, but when I call this punk ass out this morning, oh, let's do it in a I would gladly bring my Durango to where the fuck you're at and donkey stump your ass. Because if you beat it, well, you be a Durango. But you didn't want to ask Spain, though, now, did you? But don't worry, I'm going to get another car, build it in a just so I can donkey stump your ass. Then a lot of you guys do flyby races. You see a car on the road, Mustangs do it, all cars do it. Motherfucking Mustang been a road cruising, a Camaro come up, and then a Mustang not pin on mine. Dee, 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 what? And take off. Oh yeah, yeah, I got him. I stomped him. Uh, motherfucking Mustang not even trying to race. Ain't even worried about you. Mustang guys do it too. Motherfucking scat pack build a motherfucking road. Mustang guy go inside. Bam, 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 take off. Hell yeah, man, what the scat pack? Scat pack not even worried about you. Motherfucker be cruising. That's what a lot of you motherfuckers be doing. That's what a lot of y'all be doing. But then you get a motherfucker like me that be looking for a motherfucker like that. I be looking. Anyone that knows me, that be in the car with me, when I'm riding, I'm always looking for an asshole to try to do one of them flybys real quick. I be looking for it. That rarely happens. Because I be, I be waiting on an asshole to run up and look at me. Let's go, man. And then when you donkey stomp their ass, they then they ease by and do this here. That was a lot of you trolls be doing. But you'll never catch me slipping like that. Because I'm always looking when I'm driving. I'm checking my mirrors and side mirrors, rear mirrors all the time. I be waiting on you fucks. Anyway, that's all I have. You guys go check out Cabby Frank's channel, man. I plan on going that way. Fingers crossed uh, in the fall of this year. I just want to get everything done in the car right. Because I, I really want to go out there and... See why I stack up with some of these guys. And I'm not going to be racing the 1,000 horsepower cars. Some some cars in my class that make about the same power, similar weight. I prefer manual because I'm, I'm a manual guy. But I race automatic time to time. If I beat one, more sugar, you know, more sweetness. More, I ain't going to say sugar because that sounds good. I'm about to say more sugar in my Kool-Aid for me, you know, for me to sip on. Because I whooped a fucking automatic. That's not, that's not. Easy to do, right? So more sugar in my Kool-Aid, motherfucker, for me to sip on. Just so sweet. Be just sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. But I prefer roaring my gear, so I'll be down there and I'll be talking with some of the manual guys and see what they're making. If, you know, I'm going to have my dyno numbers, all that. They can look at the car and have nothing to hide. And then we can run. I'm probably going to try to run the baby G2 blower first and then take it back after I put the G3 blower on it and then run it again. And all that good stuff. So I got a trip down planning down there. I'm, I'm going down to to that to that location. I know exactly where it's at. It really wasn't hard to find. Um, I'm proud service, so it wasn't hard to cross reference um, the area. Um, the guys really don't do their best in hiding stuff. So once I seen the highway and the layout, it wasn't hard to find at all. So, but anyway, hope y'all enjoy. And uh, yeah, to you trolls, fuck y'all. Some trolls are funny. Y'all just stupid. Fuck y'all. If you come on here on my channel talking that shit, guess what? You done, you done came to the wrong channel. I'm going to talk a whole bunch of shit. Then my guys is going to talk a lot of shit. And they know what I'm going to do. Unlike Frank channel, after I get tired of y'all, I'm going to discard y'all like a tampon in the toilet or, or a pad in the toilet. I'm going to block you bitches. And you make your 20 fucking accounts and come back and get blocked again because I don't entertain trolls that much. After I get tired of you, I just discard you. You, 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 you garbage. You lord and tick feces at that point. I don't want to deal with you. So I discard you. So you'll come get your little five minutes. And then I go ahead and discard your ass. And then you make another profile come back. And I just keep on discarding you. And eventually you'll get tired. Because it's just that simple. Just discard you. That's all it is. Just that simple. Just that simple, bitch. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am everyone. Peace.